So the official PS Remote Play app has one major problem in that we are not able to use the RG Ally's native controls. Wow, thanks Sony, great job. Here's a solution using an amazing app called Rewazd in three easy steps that works with the Ally and of course all Windows based handhelds like the Legion Go 2. Plus we'll test out to see how well both Rewazd and also the official PS Remote Play app works. So let's dive straight in and for step one, make sure that you've installed and configured the official PS Remote Play app. If you haven't done so yet, then my super quick and easy guide is in the description. For step two, let's download the Rewazd app. So open up your favorite web browser on the RG Ally and head to rewazd.com. Link is in the description. Here, simply press the download button and it'll automatically drop into our downloads folder. And finally, for step three, let's install and configure the Rewazd app by heading into our downloads folder, click on the Rewazd app we just downloaded, click yes, click agree and install, it just takes a few seconds, then press restart the PC. When it's restarted, let's configure it by opening the Rewazd app. This first time we open, we click on I agree and then accept. This first time it has two pop-up messages, so we can just close both of them. I love how it already has the official PS Remote Play app template all ready to go. So let's select this as every button should be mapped correctly, which of course we can personalize too. One thing to note is that we have a seven day free trial to test it out. And if we heavily use it, then I really do think that the seven pounds or dollars to purchase the license when the trial expires for this really is great value for money. And I do highly recommend it. So to configure, just click on this tiny PS Remote Play app icon here at the top. Make sure this use with PS Remote Play option is ticked. Click apply to slot one in the bottom left and we may need to restart our RG Ally. Just one final thing is to map the dual sense. So in this main screen, make sure we're on the RG Ally section here. Select the share button right here. Select this icon called click, which has four gray rectangles and a yellow circle in the middle, which is for the PS touchpad. Hit apply in the bottom left. We start the PS Remote app, and yes, we can now bring up the DualSense touchpad, which is crucial in so many games just by clicking the share button. Congratulations, you are now fully set up. From this moment on, all that we need to do is open the Rewazd app. We don't need to select anything as the PS Remote Play option is already on every time now. So let's just minimize the app. Then we can launch our official PS Remote Play app, select our PS5 console, hit the full screen icon and voila, fully working controls, including the M2 as the PS button. And hey, if this helped you, then hit the like and subscribe buttons. And now let's test out a couple of games with it. So the first game we'll test out is the excellent Robocop Rogue City. Wow, really responsive controls and visual quality is fantastic. By the way, if you are a fan of the original 1989 Robocop film, then this is a must. Just another slime that tried to run the city. And now let's try out EA Sports FC24 to really test out if any lag is present. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well done. Opportunity! Again, just super responsive controls, no noticeable lag, and so far, I don't know about you, but I have not noticed even one dropped frame. To me, the official PS Remote Play app, now that we can use the native controls on the Ally thanks to Rewazd, is actually a much better experience than even Sony's own PlayStation Portal, which is insane. And finally, let's test out a tricky platforming section in the indie game of the moment, Animal Well. Yep, I really am blown away with how good this really is. I think that the official PS Remote Play app with this Rewazd app that's now enabled native controls may now have overtaken Checky as the way to do PS Remote Play. 
I just want to give a huge shout out to one of our awesome viewers, Jesse Dominic, in our ally community who emailed me to request this tutorial. Jesse, thanks so much for reaching out. And if you have an RG Ally or Steam Deck OLED tutorial that you'd love to see, then do drop me an email, which is in the description. I'd love to know your thoughts or any tips that you have about this awesome Rewised app. And do you prefer doing PS5 Remote Play using the official PS Remote Play app? Or do you still prefer Checky or the newer PS Play app? Let us know in the comments. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Emotional maturity looks like being okay with letting others be wrong and have the last word. You drain yourself when you try to convince people to see a perspective they don't care to see. Be mature enough to disengage from things that disrupt your peace. Sometimes it's so tempting to keep arguing to get the last word to those that have hurt us. But let's remember that life is just too short to let anyone rob us of our peace. So stay encouraged today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.